You are late. Well, you always get here right before Big Jim leaves for the night to go work for a shift at the mill. Jimbo's been gone for half an hour, so I was getting worried. Five more minutes and I would have called your office to make sure you were okay. Nah, I'm just joshing with you. So, did your boss force you into some overtime? Don't you remember? Last night you were talking about how he told you that you were going to have to finish the presentation today no matter what. Of course I listen to you, darling. What kind of employee would I be if I didn't listen to the only customer that I ever had between the hours of 4 and 5 in the morning? Too late for the stray drunkards to still be here, too early for the day drinkers to begin their fix. Don't know why the boss doesn't close up shop this early, because it can't be good for business, but I'm glad he doesn't. Because then I would never get to see my favorite customer. No, sweet pea, it is not, Jimmy. Although I do love that lug to death, God bless his soul. It's you. Golly, I reckon you would have known that by now. Most folks around here just aren't that interesting. But you... Anyways, what are you thinking about drinking tonight? Whiskey on the rocks it is. That tells me exactly how your day went. But I definitely want the details, so you spill the tea while I spill the booze. What? Lily is always saying that. Did I use it in the wrong context or something? So then what are you laughing at me for? If you keep laughing at me like that, you're not getting this whiskey from me tonight. I'll have to send you out in the streets to go find it somewhere else, and I don't want to have to do that. Well, the customer is wrong this time. For laughing at a poor, innocent man just trying to keep up with slang so we can understand his sister, which is a very commendable thing, I may add. That's what I thought, ma'am. So, are you going to spill the tea now? Or am I going to be speculating about it for the rest of the night while you have your head in your hands like that? Good, now spill the beans since you clearly have a problem with my other choice of words. That's it? I thought you were going to have way more than that. That tea isn't piping. Heck, that's not even lukewarm tea. That's the most room temperature tea I've ever heard of. I know the analogy doesn't really make sense, but that's how disappointed I am. Oh, I'm just kidding, darling. You know your conversations always make my night, subpar tea or not. It's the best way I could ever ask to end my shift, and it's wonderful to have found someone who is just as psychotic as me to be working at four in the morning. And it doesn't help that she is a pretty darn cute. Yeah, I called you cute. What about it? That is adorable that you think I'm out here womanizing all of the college girls who walk in here when I have seen exactly what they're like when they get wasted and I've even held their hair up in the restroom. If anything, I consider myself more of a father figure to them and I like to think that they do the same. I know they're only a little bit younger than me, but I feel like I need a more mature woman in my life. Someone who has it together or at least is making the effort to have it all together. Someone who's driven and ambitious and who knows how to achieve what they want, or once again, at least works towards achieving it, you know? I feel like I've passed all my friends by. I'm not saying the manager of a bar is the most impressive thing, but all of my friends are just content in the places that they are in right now, and I'm not. Are you, are you blushing right now? You absolutely are blushing right now, and you've only been sipping one drink, so you're not far gone enough to be flushed, so what part of my little monologue got you all hot and bothered? Have you ever considered that maybe it sounded like I was describing you because, plot twist, I was actually describing you? For the last time, you gotta stop underselling yourself. The whole town is asleep right now, except for Big Jimmy, but he might even be asleep right now with the security cameras. And then there's the two of us, both at the end of our shifts, both attempting to make something more of ourselves, both of us gradually outgrowing the town we grew up in together. If I didn't know any better, that sounds like a pretty impressive pair to me. 
Hey, if I have to put myself up in order to get you to understand how great you are, then that's a sacrifice I am willing to make 10 times out of 10. You want another? Oh, of, of course I don't mind. We can just sit together if you want. Nobody's coming in until at least seven, so I feel comfortable taking a little bit of a break right now. Can I ask you a question and you can tell me if I'm reaching too much here? Promise? What if we ran a bar together? No, I'm, I'm actually really serious. There's a spot that I've been scouting out in Brooklyn that's 2,200 square feet and only 115,000. It's a steal and the place already comes with a liquor license and all the appliances for a restaurant and a bar. I've already talked with a realtor and he said that the owners seem like they would even come down to 105 if they liked me. And if there's one thing I can do, it's charm the pants off of city folks. Why would I need you? Why wouldn't I need you? We would literally make the perfect team. You have shown me some of the commercials that you've storyboarded and how amazing they look when they're finished. Even your boss says that you're the best idea person at the agency and after talking with you at your most tired for the past two years, you have more going on up there at your worst than most people do at their best. We are both really great with people. We're both financially and fiscally responsible, almost to a fault. And as much as you don't want to admit it, we complement each other incredibly well in a business sense. But we're also both willing to listen and learn in the area of the other's expertise. When I started even thinking about this idea, you were the only person that came to mind. You know I'm a really realistic person, almost to the point of being cynical, and my honest answer is yes, I really think this could work. The location is really popping, there's a solid variety of restaurants surrounding it, and the realtor has no idea how it's been on the market as long as it has. And please don't laugh at me when I say this, but I believe that together we could do just about anything. Really? You'll think about it? That is amazing. All right, so now the easy part's out of the way. There's just one problem that stands in the way now. Uh, so you know how people always say to never mix business with family and friends? Yeah, I don't agree with it either, but I need to segue into what I have to tell you. The thing is that, uh, I don't want to just be friends with you anymore. I'm sorry, you know I've always been blunt about things. When I was talking about how compatible we would be as business partners, the same thing can be applied to us as life partners. I've never had this level of connection with someone in my entire life, and I guess it just took me a little longer to realize that the feelings I had for you were more than just friendship. It may have taken me a long time to catch up, but I'm here now and I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. So to make it official, sorry, Lily told me that I had to ask it directly so as to not misinterpret signals. Would you do me the honor of going steady? Wonderful. Now, if that turns you off of the whole bar thing, I totally understand. I'd rather have you by my side as a lover more than a business partner. No, I get it. I, I really do. Hey, do not tease me like that. I really thought you were serious. How about we have a talk about it today over dinner, it's Saturday so we both have off and I haven't seen you outside of my workplace in ages. Plus there is this really cute tie place that just opened up, which I think is the perfect place for a first date. Great. So are you actually going to spill the tea on your day now? Well, you might not have done it to your good friend, but maybe you would be more inclined to do it to your boyfriend. I knew it. All right, let's hear it. Come on. No, he didn't. How is he expecting you to get all that work done in that small? That's crazy. I cannot believe he would do that. That is so insane.